guys, today I'm going to explain to you on how to make a roundabout with the mod. So first, I'm just going to set a road between these two and then right down there I'm going to delete the road so that it is a road. And then it's still continuing on, but this will actually be really helpful for the roundabout. So right down here I have the roundabout builder and control O if you want to have it more easier. Um, so now my radius is on 40 and because this is a highway road I'm going to set it on 80. Um, set up with the MPE and that is traffic manager. And uh, keep open, so keep the window open after the roundabout is built. And the level terrain make the roundabout the same height everywhere, so it's actually pretty handy. So when I make this, now it's a roundabout, and people are using this roundabout. So this is a two-lane roundabout, and um, yeah. Now I am going to connect these all up to the roundabout, and um, yeah, just connecting it up. And now the roundabout is built and it's done. But not always, because if you use Traffic Manager, you can actually set up your road system. And it goes much easier. The roundabout is set up, and I'm also going to use Priority Signs. And yeah. So when you come onto the roundabout, you have to wait before every traffic is gone. So normally I don't really use this um, for highway uh, lanes, but just for this video I'm going to show you how I just do it. And this is how I do it, and in the middle you can some, put something really nice, uh, like a view or something, uh, just what you want basically. So these roundabouts can uh, really uh, be different in any way. You can also do different roads, uh, just a one-way road, brick roads. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you some different types of roundabouts. So this is another type of roundabout. This is just one lane, and in this one lane, you will have less likely to have problems. But if you add some roads, it will cause more problems. And you'll see that it is going really, really slow. So this will actually stop your traffic more, but a roundabout works perfectly fine in just really smaller areas. Um, so if you have a really busy um, intersection, uh, so you, if you have a really busy junction, you can add a roundabout to keep it more flowy. Like this, it still flows. It goes a little bit slow, but it still flows. It's not uh, clocked up or anything. It's busy, yes, but it flows. So it flows really ni nicely, actually. So uh, all of the people can get in, all of the people can get out. So it flows. Um, so you can actually do this in a really different way. So you can really use different roads for these roundabouts. Um, so you can also do it on elevation. Uh, roads won't be removed or connected to your road network anarchy for elevated roads. Absolute elevation, level terrain and still the keep open. And if you go back you can go uh, to the normal roundabouts like this one. Um, so yeah. So you will see that in a lot of interchanges and roundabouts are being used. This one is an actual roundabout. It goes round and you can see that it is nice and flowing. It's never ever really clocking up. If it is clocking up then you have set up the roundabout wrong. Or you don't have many lanes. So this is another roundabout. I'm not really fond of this one because actually the... Um, Cars have to wait on this point. There are a lot of roads coming into each other, but it still works for now. And this one as well. Uh, I really like working with roundabouts. I find them really useful and they keep the traffic more flowy. So these are all the roundabouts things that I have. And I have one also at the center here. 
not a whole lot of traffic is going through it, but it's still nice and flowing. And yeah, this is a three lane um, going to the two lane. So this is actually pretty nice and really handy to have. So this was it for today's video, I hope you find it useful, um, if you want to know how to make a roundabout without using a mod, um, you will see it right after this video.